But we begin with breaking news here at five. An all out manhunt is now over after the Florida City Police Chief confirms this man is now in custody for shooting his officer. There you see Officer Jamie Hill, 20 year old Akil Franklin taken into custody within the last hour or so. And the community really on edge watching that large law enforcement presence at work this morning through the afternoon. Uh, our Teresa Bowles live up there in Forest City to tell us what exactly led up to this arrest. Cody and Tori, I was standing inside of the police station doing my 4 p.m. live shot when everyone erupted into applause, coming to find out that a kill Franklin was caught. Now we're waiting for an update on the recovery of Officer Jamie Hill, who I last heard was in the ICU. A scary day for residents in Forest City. Speechless. It's shocking, like, you know what I'm saying? You would never think something like that would be that close to your doorstep. Police searched all day for 20-year-old Akil Franklin and at first had no leads. How are you concerned, though, for your kids' safety, you know what I'm saying? Especially being this close and they're doing something right there near a church, then there's no telling where they'll do it at. By late in the afternoon, Franklin was arrested for shooting Forest City officer and military veteran Jamie Hill in the leg. Chief Chris Leroy says officers were responding to a suspicious activity call on Hill Street. When they arrived, they tried to talk to Franklin about his outstanding warrants when Franklin pulled out a gun and fired multiple shots, hitting Officer Jamie Hill in the abdomen between his safety equipment. He now faces these charges. Three counts of attempted first degree murder, one count of assault on law enforcement with a firearm, and three counts of resisting a public officer. Officers returned fire, but Franklin fled the scene to a wooded area on foot and was nowhere to be found for hours. Catch them, you know what I'm saying? Keep them off the streets. That's the best um, satisfaction you can have, though, knowing that somebody like that ain't on your streets no more. But after hours of efforts from over 150 officers, he was caught. And residents like Reed can rest easier knowing there's one less danger to their neighborhood. And Chief Leroy sends his best wishes to the family as Hill recovers. Just that we're keeping them in their prayers. Um, obviously, the whole community has come out and kind of rallied around the family. We're, we're supportive of them. And basically, anything that they need at this point, we're, we're here to oblige for them. Franklin did have a criminal history. He had some outstanding warrants in relation to his probation. He's also faced charges of assault and common law robbery. Chief Leroy also says there is body camera footage for this, so hopefully they'll get a chance to review that, and we'll check back with that later. Back to you, Cody and Tori. Teresa, thank you. The Sheriff's Office, Highway Patrol, SWAT, and several other agencies responded to assist Forest City PD.